It's Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for finding me. If you could subscribe, that'd be a huge, huge help. We're almost at 3,000 subs. Actually, maybe by the time you watch this, we will be at 3,000 subs because I don't know when we're going to put this video out. But it's really kind of amazing that we've made it that far. As I've said before, at the beginning of 2021, I don't think we'd even hit 1,000 or we were like right around 1,000. And now we're in uh, like, you know, late September, early October of 2021 and we're almost at 3,000. That is insane. Thank you so much everyone who comments, shares our videos, is engaged in the channels, in the Facebook group, and all that stuff. I'm here today with a movie review. It is a DVD. The movie is Paper Marriage. So this is in the this was in the box that Charles sent me. If you saw that huge, huge unboxing that I did, this was one of the films that was in there. And this is not a bootleg. Uh, much has been made about whether or not those films were bootlegs. And well, so the reason that I am assuming that this film is not a bootleg is that um, it didn't play in my US region blu-ray player and all the other bootlegs that i have I have have no problem playing in that player i don't have any region encoded bootlegs and this is a uh, a region three i believe dvd as it says right here and i had to take out my region free player to get this to play so that's why i'm assuming that this is a legit commercial copy this movie was released in 1988 if you are unfamiliar it stars samuel hung as you can see right there maggie chung who is there and there, Alfred Chung is in this movie, and he also directed this movie. I'll talk about him in a second. Um, Billy Chow is in here, and I think this was his first movie because I had I saw an interview with Sammo where he talks about how when they were in Canada, this film was shot in Canada. When they were in Canada shooting this movie, he called Billy Chow because Billy Chow was is either Canadian or his. I don't know if he grew up in Canada or was born in Hong Kong and moved to Canada, but he was living in Canada, and he was a kickboxing like champion. And Sammo called him up and was like, "Hey, you want to be in a movie?" Um, and uh, and it was this movie. So uh, Dick Wai is in this film. Um, who else? Ching Kar Wok. Uh, there's a lot of like Kent Chang. No, not Kent Chang. Um, Kent Chang was in the movie I just talked about. Uh, but there's a lot of people, like a lot of faces that you'll recognize if you're familiar with Hong Kong cinema pop up in this movie. So about Alfred Chung, who directed this movie, he directed On the Run in the same year that this came out, which he also wrote, which stars Yoon Biu, which I have not seen yet, but was also in this box that Charles sent me. And that is a really highly regarded film that a lot of people say is Yoon Biu's best acting performance and a really great thriller. And then he also directed, uh, the English title of the movie is Let's Make Laugh that came out in 1983. And that's like a really seminal Hong Kong comedy from the early 80s. And Kenny B is in that film. Um, and uh, I've seen about half that movie. My story with that movie is it was on Amazon Prime and I watched like half of it and I got really tired and I was like, I'll finish it tomorrow. And it wasn't on Prime the next day, like it went away overnight. So I'm going to try to finish that movie and do a review, but um, just so you know. So to talk about Paper Marriage, what are my thoughts on this movie? So to give you a brief kind of synopsis of the plot, um, Sam o Hung. And so this movie was, I should also say, this movie was very clearly shot in Canada, right? To the extent that people are referring to locations in Canada, like someone says, let's go to the Edmonton Mall, which is in Edmonton, Canada, but the movie takes place in Los Angeles. It's like, I don't think, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just really funny because it's like so obviously not LA that it's ridiculous. Um, it's just kind of like, it's very silly. Uh, the movie is, I would call this movie a drama. It's described as a drama comedy or a dramedy. It does have comedic hijinks in it, but it, the heart of it is really a drama. Samuel Hung is a guy who lives in LA, who is, um, uh, he, I think he's like a citizen and, or he's like a permanent resident or whatever you want to call it. And, um, and so he's been divorced and he's like really embittered towards women because it was a really bad divorce. And uh, the Maggie Chung character wants to come to LA, she's in Hong Kong, to marry the Alfred Chung character. That's her boyfriend, they wanna get married. But she needs to have a paper marriage, like a marriage on paper to Sam O Hung, right? So that she can get her green card so that they can get, she and her boy, actual boyfriend can get married. And Sam O Hung agrees to do this because he's in gambling debt and they're gonna pay him to marry her. Right. And I don't want to say any more than that because I feel like I'll start spoiling the plot. But that's the basic setup. She has to pretend to be married to him and they have to live together and they have to legally get married. And she's going to pay him and he'll try to pay off his gambling debt and stuff like that. And then um, uh, and she gets the green card. Right. And she can stay in, in L.A., which is obviously Canada. So um, it, Samo is like a former boxer and he gets involved in like some underground fights to try to make money in this movie. So there is a portion of this film that's kind of like there are two 
like full on fight, like in the ring martial arts kind of fight scenes. And then at the end, there's this very, very improbable coincidence whereby Maggie and Samo get involved in like organized crime. And so there's a big fight scene at the end in this insane mall where there's like water slides inside the mall and there's like a pirate ship inside the mall. There's dolphins inside the mall. So there's a lot of water in this mall, as you can tell. And there's a really, really cool fight scene at the end of the film that kind of revolves around um, all the crazy stuff in the mall. And so there are fight scenes. Samuel fights Dick Y and Samuel fights uh, Billy Chow. And Billy Chow fights Dick Y. And there's like a lot of like that kind of stuff going on, um, but but segmented throughout the movie. And like I said, it really is a drama. And so like Maggie Chung is trying to make money because she doesn't have a job. Um, and at some point she gets really desperate and she signs up for like a mud wrestling thing at this bar and Samo's doing these underground fights and he's trying to pay off these, these guys who are coming for him because he gambles on like horse racing and stuff like that. And so, uh, so what are my impressions of this movie? I think that as a movie that, or as a drama, rather, this movie is really successful. Uh, Samo's performance is really strong. Maggie Chung's performance is really, really strong. Like she's fantastic in this film and she really plays it straight. Like how a person would feel in these situations. So there's, there are comedic hijinks in this movie that fall flat to me because Maggie Chung, you know, like is involved in these situations where like there's jaunty music playing and it's like we're supposed to be laughing, but she's like crying, right? Because that's what a normal person would do in that situation. So she's playing it totally straight, but the movie's trying to play it for laughs and I don't think it works. And the comedy scenes in this movie really fell flat to me. And there were a couple of things that were very funny that made me like really laugh out loud, but the vast majority of the, the comedic scenes in this movie were fell totally flat to me and I was not interested in them, but... On the plus side, they're pretty short and there aren't too many of them. So you kind of get through them and get back to the story. But following the journey of these characters and looking at what these immigrants are going through and the, the, the troubles they face and the lengths through which they will go and the way that they lose dignity in order to try to get what they want um, and try to make a life for themselves and stuff like that, I think is done really, really well. And the, the, those drama aspects are really fantastic. And the fights are good, like I said. you know. And there's some, there's some really kind of unexpected character turns. Um, and I should say, Joyce Godenzi, who's uh, Samuel's actual wife, plays his ex-wife in this film. And there's some interesting scenes between them. They're very kind of tender and, and interesting. And, and they're just there are character dynamics in this film that you don't expect, that are a little bit more sophisticated than what you would expect, or a little bit more touching and compassionate, I think, than what you would expect from a movie that you're assuming is going to be like a romantic comedy, which, again, it's really not. It's more of a drama. So I really enjoyed this film. It is kind of a mess in terms of if you're looking at it objectively and you're like, I'm watching a drama, but now it's a ridiculous scatological comedy, but wait, now there's this crazy fight scene, you know? It's kind of a mess and it might not work, but if you're used to those types of films, if you enjoy those types of films, like that classic kind of Hong Kong comedy of like being all over the place, um, and, and if you can take the fact that it's the drama is really serious and really well handled, but then there's this ridiculous comedy and these action scenes as well. So I highly recommend this film. If, if, those, if that combination of elements might kind of rub you the wrong way or throw you out of it, I don't think this is your film. So the movie is Paper Marriage. Like I said, Sammo Hung and Maggie Chung, Alfred Chung, Joyce Godenzi, Billy Chow, Dick Y, uh, big cast in this film. Um, and, and I really enjoyed it. So it came out in 1988. Like I said, my name is Will. This is Hong Kong Cinema Appreciation Society. I thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.